Today we're going to continue reading Dolphins at Daybreak by Mary Pope Osborne. Let's look at our table of contents. Today we're going to read Chapter 5, Two Eyes, and Chapter 6, C-R-A-C-K, Crack. Chapter 5, Two Eyes. What's a ship's log? said Annie. It's a diary of an ocean trip, said Jack. He peered at the computer screen and read a log entry. Monday, July 5th. Hey, that was just last week, said Jack. He read further. Collected rock and shell samples. Mapped ocean floor. Found tiny crack in hull. This is like your notebook, said Annie. Yeah, the oceanographer was writing notes on the computer, said Jack. Jack and Annie read further. Tuesday, July 6th. Crack has widened. Must return to reef soon. A crack where? said Annie. I don't know, said Jack. He read further. Wednesday, July 7th. More tiny cracks. Cannot be fixed. Heading back to reef today. Uh Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good, said Jack. He read further. Thursday, July 8th. Defective sub. Return to reef. Leave for helicopter to transport to junkyard. Defective means broken, right? Said Annie. Yep, said Jack. So this sub is broken, right? Said Annie. Yep, said Jack. And it was waiting to be taken away by a helicopter to a junkyard. Yikes, said Annie. Now we really have to get back, said Jack. Let's try pressing the waves picture, said Annie. She pressed the waves picture on the computer screen. The mini sub began to rise slowly. Oh, good, said Jack. The sub went past a small coral mountain. It went past schools of fish and waving plants. Oh, gasped Annie. Jack gasped too. Two eyes were staring out from behind a giant sea plant. They looked human, except... They were as big as golf balls. The sub moved past the giant plant. Jack breathed a sigh of relief. What? Whose? sputtered Annie. Don't ask, said Jack. They stared back at the plant. Just then, a long arm came out from behind it. Then another arm came out. Then another, and another, and another, and another, and another, and another! Jack and Annie stared in horror at a giant octopus. It's coming after us, said Annie. Slowly, the octopus crept through the water. Its eight arms reached for the mini-sub. Chapter 6. C-R-A-C-K. Crack. The octopus hugged the mini-sub. Each of its eight arms had two rows of suckers. The suckers stuck to the window. The mini-sub stopped. The octopus stared at Jack and Annie with huge, human-like eyes. I don't think it wants to hurt us, whispered Annie. It's just curious. I, I'm going to research it, said Jack. His hands shook as he flipped through the pages of the ocean book. He found a picture of an octopus and read aloud, The octopus tends to be a gentle, shy creature. Sometimes, though, curiosity gets the best of it, and it comes out of hiding. Aw, see, I told you. He's shy, said Annie. She yelled to the octopus. Hi, I'm Annie. He's Jack. Oh, brother, moaned Jack. He read further. But the octopus has huge strength. Each of its arms, or tentacles, has many suckers which act like rubber suction cups. It is nearly impossible to free an object from their grasp. Oh, great, said Jack. We'll never get rid of this thing. Just then, Jack felt a drop hit his arm. 
water. He looked up at the ceiling. Uh-oh, said Annie. A thin crack ran along the ceiling. Smaller cracks branched out from it. Water dripped from the cracks. We found the cracks, said Annie. The octopus better let go before the whole ceiling breaks, said Jack. Let go, please, please, Annie shouted at the octopus. The creature blinked as if trying to understand her. Please, 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 she shouted. Come on, Annie, said Jack. It doesn't care if you're polite. The octopus blinked at Jack. Get out of here, Jack yelled at it. Now, beat it, scram, go! The octopus shot a cloud of black liquid into the water and disappeared into the dark cloud. Its long tentacles trailed through the water. The mini-sub started to rise slowly again. You hurt his feelings, Annie said. I don't think so. Something bothered Jack. He looked back at the ocean book. He read to himself, The octopus squirts black ink to escape its enemies. One of its main enemies is the shark. Oh no, said Jack. What's wrong? asked Annie. Jack looked out the window. The water was growing clear again. A shadowy figure moved toward the mini-sub. What is that? whispered Annie. The fish was way bigger than the dolphins, and it had a very weird head. Jack could feel his heart nearly stop. A hammerhead shark, he breathed. We're really in trouble now. And that's the end of chapter chapters five and six. So tune in tomorrow to find out what happens in chapters seven and eight.